Okay, folks, we are across the street from a hot dealer that's playing music. <laughs> Hopefully that won't mess me up. Uh, it's right down the street, about a quarter mile from the Suzuki dealer. We'll take a little quick walk in there and see what this is like. That looks expensive. Let's see what we got here. Straight up dirt bike, 250 RX. Another cross bike for 469 cash. Remember, for every hundred thousand, you're looking at close to two grand. Right, you could run that on the street here. I don't know if they could get registration. All I know is I see them running around. This one is a 150. This one's a trial bike and it does have a headlight and turn signal. Another, oh, this is. I don't want to take a look at that. Nice one. Trust me, to be honest with you, in the long run, white is a good color to have here. Uh, so many people drive around without lights, having a white bike in the dark is a good idea. I like the hell of it. I need to find out how much this thing is. That's got to be a good size bike. Oh, this might be in here. Big bike. Liquid cooled four stroke, four valve. 70 crank. Holy shit, that's a 1,083 cc. Yeah, that's a beast here. That's a that's a screamer right here. Oh yeah, looks like he's got some nice headlights on it too. Oh, and they're covering the price up. Peak? No, can't peak. How much? How much is this bike? How how much is this bike? Hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. No. Nine thousand. That one's one hundred forty-five. Yeah. How much is this one? Nine hundred thousand. And this is Africa Twin. Oh, nine hundred thousand. So it's almost a million. That makes more sense. Two times nine. What do you got there? Eighteen grand. Here, oh, here's another scooter. It's up to a seven fifty cc. Seven hundred fifty thousand. Not a bad looking little bike. Here we've got a 160, 124,000. A little bit over two grand. I've seen quite a few of these around. A little Honda. Seventy-eight thousand. This one's under. This is probably uh, around eight hundred dollars. That all depends on the exchange rate, guys. There's a beat. I have heard good things about the beat, but that was online watching videos. One thing I have run into uh, with 
some guys have told me is that um, you can get these Hondas and they're great, but apparently parts are so much difficult to come by. Looks like they have a full service back there. It's Rusi, you can get everything for. They're not as good a bike, but they're rugged and they're cheaper. And uh, you can get parts for. Them. Oh, we got big bike back here. Let's take a look at this. Oh, here we go for the cafe guys. Oh, here's the Honda generator. CB 150. Nice looking bike. This has all 220 outputs on it. Doesn't have a price on it. M10,000, I'm not sure that that's the power rating I would think, but I'm not sure what that means. And they've got a few other Honda generators over here, smaller ones, and Honda motors. And there's what we come to see. Let's check this out. Oh, look at this. A retro, this looks like an old 750. Look at that, that's sweet. I like it. And I sure ain't got the money to buy it. But I wouldn't want to have it that big a bike here, frankly. It really, you go too fast here, you'll just crash into somebody. How you doing? Good. I mean, these big bikes are nice to have. I know you like the torque and all that. There's not a lot of places you can really open them up. So you're kind of just eating a lot more fuel. Oh, this is a nice looking one, isn't it? Oh, it's a 500. That's not too big. Still about eight grand. I should probably more like seven. On my credit card, $2,069 the time I bought my 112,000 peso chariot was $2,069. But that was in no December. And the CBR, what size is it? I haven't got my glasses on to read this, unfortunately. Oh, that one's a 471. So I think that's. Yeah, no, that's this one here. Oh, here's it. Here we go. And these prices are very subject to change, folks. Uh, look at this beastie. I've seen Harleys here as well. I haven't seen a Harley dealer here in Jim McGetty, but I will track one down if there is one. This is a 650. Or 520, or 519. Excuse me, I tend to round off numbers. That does look like a nice bike. That's a four cylinder. A few is a little more expensive here in some of the places in the U.S. Right now it's running around 65 a liter, which I believe runs at about $4 a gallon. Well, it's not horrendous. If you got the money, no big deal. These are just like the same bike, different paint. I kind of like them. I like that sort of old school style. Not sure what they are. I oh, really got a whole row of them here. A variety of different colors. Oh, it's a 500cc, 400,000. So that's, that's a $4,000 bike. And it's got some nice beefy tires on the front. Look at that big ass tire it's got on the front. Oh my goodness. Now here's another one. Here, oh, here's the specs on it. I 
believe this is another one. But I really like the hell out of this thing. That is sweet. That's my kind of bike right there. I wish I had that kind of money. <laughs> I don't. Of course, I'd have to stick a sidecar on it, but frankly, I don't drive two wheels anymore. They bite me too much. And they do have financing and all that good stuff if you want to finance one. The more showroom upstairs? The more showroom upstairs? No. No, it's offices? Offices, okay. Staircase, but it's only offices. Okay, guys. That's the Honda dealer. It's just down the street from City Mall, which is uh, halfway between the Suzuki dealer and where I'm at now. And we're near the airport. Not hard to find. Hopefully the music didn't kill it, then we'll have to do a voiceover. I don't know how to do it yet. And back I go. By the way, you can buy these here. And this one, I believe, is a Toyota. I'm not really sure if that's a Toyota. I think it is. But there's Fords, Toyotas, all that good stuff here. A decent price. I actually know where there's one right now for fifty thousand. Is now the mugs. Now beat up looking, but it's in good condition. Belongs to Australia. Uh, it's got a brand new clutch put in it. All right, folks. That's it. Have a good one.